I love you guys. So I'm sure by now you all know how much I've been loving recreating um, popular snacks at home. So of course today I'm going to show you how you can make at home um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They're very simple and easy to make and you'll need like a handful of ingredients to make these. And I promise you that once you try these ones today, you'll never want another um, store-bought Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Trust me on that. So let's get started and let's make Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make the filling first, which is just three ingredients. You'll need some salt and butter. I'm going to mix that first. I want it to become um, really creamy. Then I'm going to add the peanut butter, which should be at room temperature as well. Try to use good quality peanut butter. These are peanut butter cups, guys. That's the main ingredient. That's what you're going to taste. And lastly, you're going to add some powdered sugar. I'm just gonna mix that in with my spatula first so it doesn't go everywhere. And then I'm gonna continue with my mixer. Okay, so once you got your lovely cream, you're going to set that aside and we're basically almost done. So you're just going to melt some chocolate. You can use whatever chocolate you want. I'm going to use milk chocolate because I want to make um, the original peanut butter cups. Now you'll also need some cupcake liners. You don't need a cupcake tray to make these. There's a lot of recipes out there that say you need the tray. You don't need the tray, especially if you don't have it. Don't go out and buy it, guys. Just get some paper liners and you'll be fine. So you're going to put some of that chocolate on the bottom of your cups. Once that has hardened, you're going to fill it with your peanut butter cream. Now you want to put it just in the center. Don't go all the way to the sides or it will show in the final product. Here I was just using some water to smooth down the cream. So when we put the chocolate on top, it's going to be nice and smooth. Go ahead and put the remaining um, chocolate on top and be sure to top it down to release any air bubbles. And once again, to get a nice smooth top. Put these in the fridge for 5-10 minutes to set and they're done. These taste exactly like the real thing. I gifted these to a friend. He said they were fabulous. They were gone within like half an hour, guys. Um, as you saw, they take like 15 minutes to make from start to finish, so they're really simple. So you know if you're craving them and you have some chocolate and peanut butter on hand, um, you don't have to go out and buy these guys. Just make them yourself at home. So good. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Bye, 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 bye guys. <laughs>